Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for uh, tuning in again. I know it's been a while since we did one of these, but uh, we're gonna keep going on kids on a case, case of the 10 grand kidnapping. Uh, we're working on chapter nine right now. There's just nine and 10 left and then we're all done. Uh, but yeah, my son's gonna continue reading on chapter nine here. Also, then we're gonna start the new book. Yep, okay. I would try. Why well, just what, what, what was I yeah, you're in chapter right nine. Yep. I looked around to see scar materialize from out the shed of the, the shadows by the stairs. Man, I hate it when it does that. I thought now, now scared once. <clears throat> he held a gun in his right hand. He could, I could see the creepy scar on his hand. I gulped as my throat felt tighter. <clears throat> Mr. Andorf groaned from behind me. Looking for these kids? Scar smeared, holding up the case. You can slave, slavery. Slavery. <clears throat> for you, that little brat of <clears throat> of a brother you've got. Leave him alone, Mister. And Earth showed getting out. Chair and taking a step forward, Scar turned the gun at Mr. Andorth. He in and indicated the chair with the gun. Set before I get angry and shoot you, Miss Mr. Andorth. Glared at Scar with a bitter hatred, <clears throat> but he took a step back and sat down on the chair angrily. <clears throat> at that moment, I realized I might. <clears throat> Never actually see my parents again. This, the situation might seem hopeless. Scar grinned at me and then took two steps to the right. <clears throat> Reaching across his body, with his left hand, he opened up the door nearest to him. Still grinning, the, he threw a kiss to the and then, it, <clears throat> and then I heard his flash. They're in a toy, kid. Now flush them down. Now flush him down, he said, and the kid to the, into the room with his free hand. <clears throat> Angrily, I stormed into the bathroom. I acted like a, I tripped. My hand went into the toilet and grabbed the keys. I hope my body had covered my actions. Nice try, kid. Stand up, put the keys back, and flush it. <clears throat> try another stunt like that. I'll shoot you. Believe me when I say that too. Because you've tried all, all of my patience. What was that? <clears throat> so I stood up and hopelessly let the cage fall, drop from my hand into the toilet. They land with a splash. Now flush it, kid. I heard Scar order from behind me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So I flushed the toilet and watched the keys as they went around, around once, then disappeared. Now what do I do? As I walked out of the room in front of Scar, he shoved me really hard to the ground. Next, he kneels on my back and... <coughs> Felt in my pockets. I left hand. Pulling out my jackknife, he threw it in the toilet as well. Get off me! He ordered to my feet. <clears throat> I Then I wa- Don't worry about it, keep going. <clears throat> and I then walked to the cross room, stand beside Mr. Andorth. I'll go up his sauce, but wait. Was that the sound of sirens? I'll never escape. That's the police. Mr. Andrews stayed. He's right. Your truck is burnt to a crisp. Kurt tires have been slashed. Pearsall is unconscious. And now my friends have overpowered Sparrow, I jeered. But, but they overpowered Sparrow or, or had Jane shot him all, I wondered. Scar smiled. What about Jane? 
She just shot your little friends. She'll just shoot, shoot your little friends. She was, she was busy chasing George through the woods. So she, what is that word? Preoccupied. Preoccupied? I lied desperately. I heard a couple of cars stop in the driveway. Then the sirens would, were, the sirens were still going as hard as the door slammed closed. The chief's voice <clears throat> could be could be heard above the sirens. Hold it, lady, this is a police, so drop the gun. Here's another one, officer, I heard Dave shout. He's <clears throat> he's trapped against the building. Carefully, I thought. Careful though. He's got Kurt. There, there was a moment of silence. Hello, Sparrow. I thought your five years in prison would have been enough for you. I see you've moved up in the criminal world, though. Now you work with Jane Shelburne. How do you realize what to shoot? She was going to shoot you. And take sure of the cash, right? I heard Chief could all say. More silence if I killed her first now. I want her right out here. Then you give me a ride out to the country, Sparrow demanded. I heard more sirens. Sirens and ambulance fire truck pull up in the driveway. <clears throat> Chief girl laughed. Sorry, but the only ride <clears throat> you'll get is back to the squad car. Hey, I've got a deal for you. Can you ride with Jane? Shut up or I'll shoot you, kid. No. You get me a car. And do you have the kid at the airport? Sons again. Listen, I don't have the author authority Sorry. for that. Now, hand over the kid. I'm going to count to ten. And then my sniper in the woods will shoot you. Your heart, your heart is... As wide open as the kid doesn't cover your chest. You don't have a sniper, Sparrow retorted angrily, but he didn't sound too sure. Don't, Mommy. don't I? The sheriff facts. Well, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why are you looking at me at the wolf? Looking at the woods. So much if I don't have a sniper, he taunted. Eight, nine. All right, all right. Take the stupid kid. Sparrow panicked. Good little birdie. Now give me the gun. Good old coaxed. There was silence again. Then a car door slammed. All right, guys. Grab Pearsall off the ground. Hold the parasol, you stay, stay right, stay right there on the ground and put your hands on your head. That's good. All right, now come along with me to the car. I heard another male officer speak. Another car's door slammed. What is this, a bunch of jailbirds hanging out in the woods? Good old jokes. I heard footsteps going up the steps to the front door. Well, by a cracking sound, the door was kicked in. Search the cabin, guys. She's here somewhere. The girl's voice boomed again. It's time inside the cabin. Scar moved back in the shadows. His black clothes blended in. I saw the gleam of his gun as he continued to point at us. You're trapped. Let us go. Miss. Your underth coaxed. What does coaxed mean? It means he encouraged or edged along. Scar didn't move at the sound of footsteps was was heard coming cautiously downstairs. <clears throat> A figure slowly stepped into the room. Look out in the shadows, Mr. Underth shouted to the officer. <clears throat> A shot ran out at, at Mr. Underth and got and get, grasped his arm. 
What does grasped mean? He held his arm. Just drop the gun, officer, scurred, stepping out of the shadows. The officer let his gun fall to the ground and clanged on the cement. Take two steps to the right. That's it, now lightly kick the gun towards me, Scar instructed. Officer did what he was told. Scar knelt down and picked up the gun, keeping his own gun sh- trained on the officer. He threw the officer's gun to the washroom. Then, walking up behind the officer, he took the officer's handcuffs and used them to cuff the officer. They pushed the the officer forward, and then fell down, fell at our feet. As Scar watched the officer struggle to get his feet again, I watched another figure creep silently down the stairs. There was a gleam of a gun as the second officer came no. up behind Scar. He lifted the gun up into the air and then dropped the thud on Scar's head. Scar crumpled onto the cement. And then his gun slid across the floor. I knelt down and picked up the fallen gun as the officer handcuffed the unconscious, unconscious villain. The officer then removed the handcuffs from the struggling officer's hands. And I handed them to I had them, I handed him the gun when he stopped. Officer Thompson, take Scar to my car, please. <clears throat> he can ride the pistol. pistol. Mr. Andrews, I'm sorry you had you end up involved in this mess. You look terrible. Now follow it. If you follow Thompson, an ambulance is waiting outside to assist you. Thank you, Chief. I think they'll take you up on that on that officer, Mr. Endorth said as he followed Sir Thompson up the stairs. Chief Goodall where was I? Looked at me and asked, You're the one who called me, right? So where's where is Kimberly kid? Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I called you, Chief. Yeah, I called you, Chief. I stammered in the sh- sheepish smile broke, broke <clears throat> out of my face. There in that room, and I said, "Indicate." I said, "Indicating the room." <coughs> but Scar made me flush the key down to it. Next time, don't don't hang up on me. That's he said sternly. Well, I can solve the locked door problem. He walked up to the door. Kimberly stepped as far away from the door as you can. <clears throat> he gave the moment and away from the door he lifted his gun aimed at the door knob on the side. <clears throat> Stop from the door. Flattened himself against the wall. You better step back, kid. Then he was then as I was about Then when I was out of the way he shoot. He sh- shouted. Shouted. Claire! As he shot the the lock and the door swung open a crack. Heard running f- footsteps. He heard running footsteps. And this time, a female officer came running downstairs with her gun drawn. It's all right. Just open the locked door. Gaul laughed. <clears throat> The door opened further, uh, and my little brother walked with him, with Kim. Ty, my little brother shouted, running towards me and hugging me tightly. I held him close. Rodney, I thought I've never, never ever said this, but it's good to see you again. I was actually glad to see a little brat. <laughs> Tell her, what, what are you doing here? Kim asked as she ran over to Timmy, I was up, and before I could answer, she gave me a big hug. Then I stepped back. Gave me, she gave me a kiss on the cheek. I blushed. I blushed as I stepped back. 
Looking at her, I smiled. Overjoyed was she was alive. I, 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 er, we came for you. I stammered foolishly. We? You'll see. I started prodding in the gate and in this investigation group. And then we all located you for the police. Your note really helped. Kim? Kim? You found my note? Oh, thank you, Tyler. She showed as hugged me and gave me a kiss on the cheek. I blushed again. Note? I heard the chief girl's voice ask behind me. I turned around and pulled the note out from my pocket and sheepishly handed and did it to Chief Cuddle. Then without thinking about it, I turned around and kissed Kim on her cheek. She didn't even try to avoid it. She just looked at me in the eye and let me do it. With both, we both giggled nervously as Ronnie, as Ronnie let out an ew, gross. As we walked up the stairs, I asked, the kiss was just excitement, right? She looked at me and smiled. Of course. You're, yours too, right? Yeah, sure. I replied. The neighbor, neither of us sounded too sure. We all sit, sit at standing, we were all sitting at the station with Kim and her parents. An hour later, we told her and her parents our adventures. So she told us, well, actually, she was looking for, oh, only looking, looking at, at me when she said it. That we w wanted to be part, she, we, that she wanted to be part of our group. If, if we, decided to solve any more cases. Of course, I assured her she would be. But but that we would weren't be planning any more cases. But hey, you never know, right? Her parents thanked us as, and the police again and again. We found that Mr. Andorth was in the hospital, but was doing well to be was going to be all right. George was also in the hospital, but he assured us it would be fine too. Then, then he'd kicked when he kicked the window. I it had cut it cut through his shoe and put glass shears in his foot. Shards. Shards. Chief Goodall entered this entered and stood in the front of the front door. All right, kids, I've got good news and bad news. Bad news is your parents are all here, although they're quite happy for Kim. They are they are upset with you. Oh, well, well, a little bit upset with all of you. Now, before I get to good news, I want to say if you should happen to, to crack any more cases, you should come to me first. And I'll decide if it will be for all your to help. But but now for the good news. Scar had a reward, had a reward posted for him. I was gonna. He was wanted for kidnapping several kids, and then, and then selling ones. He could get ransom into slavery. So Tyler, when he said, "We we would sell you," so Tyler, when he said, "He we would sell you into slavery," he meant it. This rumored. Money will be given to your little group. Chief Girl sounded happy, but in fact, 
Oh, feels fun. Chief Girl sound happy. In fact, he was kind of he was kind of uneasy. Escobar was not among those who were arrested. You know what, Pascalotta would not give up like this. So where is Pascalotta? We, he must be around here somewhere. I'll have to try to keep an eye on him open. So how much do we get? Dave shouted excitedly. We all laughed straight, straight to the point. As always, Laverne chuckled. Well, if you must, if it was ten thousand five hundred, wow, that's that's a thousand each. That's a thousand each, including a thousand for Mister Andreth and Kim. You have five hundred for Ronnie. I shouted excitedly. Kurt grunted. Why? Why does he get the share? He was kidnapped too, wasn't he? Kim to pipe up. Piped up angrily. Yeah, I was kidnapped too. <laughs> Rodney shouted at Kurt. Kurt looked at the ground and mumbled, "I guess we're you're right. We're we're extremely we're extremely excited excited that is until Chief Girl opened the door and and our parents walked in."